Okay, so our first step is going to be to remove the battery. So we have an eight millimeters uh, ratcheting wrench here, or you can use the socket. So we're gonna remove this one here for the negative side. Remove that out of the way. And we're gonna come over to the driver's side. And we went ahead and broke that loose. So now we can remove this terminal. Move it out of the way. And the battery is held down with a tie down, which is also an eight millimeter. So we went ahead and we loosened this up. And now that wedge can come out. And now we can just pull the battery straight out. Okay, so we removed the battery. Next we came in and took out the three eight millimeter bolts here for the battery tray. And uh, now that will lift right out. Okay, so now from the passenger side, we have access to the O2 sensor. And so we're gonna unplug that. You just push down on that tab on the white part of it and separate it and that unplugs it. Okay, so this O2 is being spread apart right now. I just wanna show you a trick that I use. I put a screwdriver in right here. And so when I push down on that tab with the screwdriver, you just turn it sideways like that and just pry it apart. And then it will uh, move that green part away so that you can separate it. Okay, next we lifted the car up into the air. And so we supported it on jack stands right here on the support beam. That's where we lifted with the jack. And so we have our jack stands on each side there and that's gonna be giving us enough space to work up in the front. Okay, so from underneath the car, we're going after the exhaust bolts here. Um, on this car, it's 19 millimeter. I don't know if that's aftermarket or not. Seems a little big, but anyway, uh, we got two on this side and two on this side. So just remember, make sure the battery is disconnected because we're near the starter and there's power going to the starter. And even if you get anything metal up in there, uh, it'll uh, make sparks fly if the uh, battery's still connected. And uh, feel free to use liquid wrench on these exhaust bolts. With all the heat that they see, they can get pretty stubborn. So you can go ahead and spray those down, let them soak for a minute. Okay, and then the uh, top exhaust bolt can be reached from the passenger side if you want to get on at the back end. Otherwise, it's kind of hard to get past the O2 sensor from underneath the car. Okay, the rear O2 sensor is unplugged the same way you push down on this tab here. If you put a screwdriver right in between there and kind of twist it, it'll help separate it. So we're going to undo both of the ones back here. Okay, now your mid pipe should unbolt in the back. This was welded, so unfortunately I had to cut it. But uh, once you unbolt it from the back and you have the O2 sensors all unplugged, like we showed you earlier, you can pull this whole mid pipe out from underneath the car. Now the trick with the starter is to use an extension like this. You want to go up in here parallel to the starter. Here's the bottom bolt for example. That's how you get on there for the bottom one and then the back one, the one on the top that you can't even see, you want to go parallel to the starter and back in on it like that. That's how you're going to reach it. There's, you're not going to be getting a, a ratchet up into this area at the top. So you got to use an extension and go lengthwise with the starter. Next we're going to remove the starter. So it's coming from the transmission over here is where it mounts up. And so there's three bolts, one coming this way. And then sometimes the other ones come the opposite way. It depends on how this was put back together by someone else. But you have one, two, and then a third bolt up here that you'll be able to feel it'll be kind of uh, hard to to see it but uh, sometimes it works to get an extension coming from the back side and going parallel with the starter if you have trouble getting on it or using a ratcheting wrench can also be helpful okay so you can see the wrench on that third bolt up there so it's coming in backwards it's uh, facing the rear of the car and so that was a 10 millimeter the middle one was a 13 millimeter, and then that bottom was a, another 10 millimeter. So that's what it was on this car, at least. But, so this is the third bolt everybody complains about getting really, you know, it's really hard to get to it. And you can tell if the exhaust is in the way, then it definitely would be. So if you remove the exhaust, it's real easy. You got a bolt here, you got a bolt there, and you got one there. Basically just line it right up and bolt it up. Now the trick with the starter is to use an extension like this. 
you want to go up in here parallel to the starter. Here's the bottom bolt, for example. That's how you get on there for the bottom one. And then the back one, the one on the top that you can't even see, you want to go parallel to the starter and back in on it like that. That's how you're going to reach it. There's, you're not going to be getting a, a ratchet up into this area at the top. So you got to use an extension and go lengthwise with the starter. So I went ahead and uh, tightened that top one down. And we're all good to go.